Rest in peace, Tico. You know what I mean? Real nigga. Young nigga. Wrong place, wrong time. Like, I don't want to say, like, stay out of the streets. It's like, you ain't even got to be the nigga fussing and cutting up, you know. Oh, uh, you know, just you ain't got to be the violent nigga for something to fuck around and happen to you. That night with Takeoff, that was bad as fuck. DJ uh, Flip or DJ Quick with, with DJ something. DJ Pat, I think, you know, from Houston, you know, got charged with it. But I think he was basically trying to shoot in the man's defense, you know what I mean, and fuck around and hit the man. You see what I'm saying? I'm guessing they got young Cam locked up. I mean, nigga, uh, La Cam locked up from um, out of Texas, Jeremy. They got him locked up on a gun charge, Jeremy, because I'm guessing they seen them with a hammer on from all that fucking video at the bowling alley. They had the real video, not the phone video that everybody had, the real video, the cameras. Um, probably seen them with a hammer, seen them shooting a hammer or something. That's probably why he got, you know, they're trying to. Let, uh, jam him up, you know, until they could really figure it all the way out. So they got him jammed up, you know what I mean? They got DJ uh, Pay, whatever his name is. He basically got caught with some bread, like he was about to shoot out and leave out and leave to Mexico. You know, like he wasn't about to even come forward. He was just about to dip out. Well, you know, don't run, you know what I mean? If you, ain't, if you know you was shooting in that man defense, don't run, man. Come on in and say that shit, man. Get that shit out the way, you hear me? You acting like you was you did that on purpose, you hear me? How you trying to run? If that's was you know was happening for real, we don't even know. I don't know, you hear me? Just let it be known what it is. Don't um. But if you was on some snake and fish shit, you hear me? You gotta be a bitch and you gotta you know do it like that. But if it was a mistake, you hear me? You need to be coming forward saying that shit, you hear me? Like. Now I'm saying come forward with it now because I can't even say it. If I would have came instantly knowing my life in danger, I still could fuck around and lose and get life. You hear me? I don't know if I'd come in instantly either. I probably would go running my damn self. I'm just keeping it G. So um, even if I made a mistake, I'm just spooking. I'm just scared them bitches going to still try to throw my life away even by me making a mistake. You see what I'm saying? So I'm just spooking. But uh, if you did, you you know, now that you, they got you, you need to be letting them bitches know, look, hey, this is what it is, man. I fuck with take you, you see what I'm saying, man? I'm had no problem if that's what it is. And, you know, people can vouch for it. You know, people going to vouch for it if it is what it is. If it ain't what it ain't, you know people ain't going to vouch for it. So, you know, just keep it G, you know what I mean? Like, if you did it, you got to take that ride now, son. He's over. They got too much camera. If you did it badly... But if you did it on mistake, you know what I mean? You need to speak that shit, say that shit, you know what I mean? Only if you know you really did that on mistake, you know what I mean? Because you got a lot of other niggas, you know, jammed up in situation. I don't know who shot first, who shot second. I'm not sure. But I know that, you know, by them situations happening like that, you know, y'all should see, man. Y'all niggas ain't no war veterans. Y'all niggas ain't got no aim like that. Y'all niggas just pull them guns out and go to bust it. Like, y'all hear a gunshot. Man, I done seen it before. I done been in the hood where niggas done had multiple shootouts, you know what I mean? To where a nigga just hear a gunshot and niggas just go to shooting in somewhere that where they thought they heard a gunshot from. They don't even give it a second to realize, like, is it a nigga shooting from over there or is it that nigga who shit in a cut over there? I heard it come from this way, but they got a nigga in a cut right there aiming something like, let me make sure before I start shooting over here where people running at and dude behind me the whole time. Niggas don't analyze, you know what I mean? Like, niggas with these switches. They, that's why people getting, so many people getting hit, innocent, innocent bystanders. Because nigga putting these switches out and just spraying them everywhere like a can of mace, you know what I mean? Like, like y'all niggas just getting daily and daily. Y'all just killing up the blacks more and more and more. Like, minorities. Fuck the fuck saying the blacks. We gonna say minorities, you know what I mean? Y'all just killing up minorities back to back to back to back. Y'all, like, completing the plan that they got set up for you guys, man. Y'all niggas crazy. But I see that to say, um, hey, if you didn't, you gotta ride with it. If you didn't, you gotta let them know. 
But uh, either way you pick, you know what I mean? You might still got to ride regardless a little bit. You see what I'm saying? We don't know. We have to wait till it play out. I ain't got the files and the credentials like the boy Ag be having. Bitch got all the court documents. Bitch log, log in and see. I ain't got all that. I can't do all that. But um, let me read this out to y'all. Let's get on. Um, take all passes away before he can write his will. And now his parents are fighting over who who will receive the multi-million dollar assets. More than 77% of black Americans don't have a will. Now take off estranged parents and report, I mean, are reportedly fighting over his fortune, which is estimated to be 26 million. Oh. Say, bro, I say it like this. Y'all niggas better come together. I, I don't want to say niggas. Y'all two need to come together. Your son is, has passed away badly on a fleet. And y'all cutting up behind his bread. I don't know what y'all doing. This is what the post saying y'all doing. I'm just going off the post. I'm just going off what the post say. If y'all ain't cutting up, if y'all doing it the right way, my apologies. I'm just going off what the post say. I think either side will want a piece of their, their child's wealth to basically share it, you know, with their generation at the time and spread spread the wealth on to possibly, like, you know, have generation wealth for years and years on for kids and kids and kids. I'm figuring every, each side will should want to do that, and they, so they will want a piece, so they could you know try to do that. But I don't think it should be no fighting. Like I don't think y'all should fight over it. Like I think y'all should both come sit down and say, "Hey, we gonna half on it. We split it all in half." If we ain't together, split it all in half. That's my son. That's your son. Split it in half. We ain't about to fight about it. Our son laying in the grave. It's fucked up that we got to even be splitting this right now. Split it in half, man. Straight up. Split it in half. That's the only way I could see going at going about it. Split it in half. Don't fight about it, man. Y'all that man turning his grave. Find this shit, man. That man ain't shit. look. That man ain't have a will because in seventy seven, like it say, more than seventy seven percent of Black Americans don't have a will. Why? Because we not expecting to die that fast. But guess what? At the rate the the murder rate in each fucking city of the minorities and the Blacks dying, getting killed. I think we should start setting wills at young age. It should be a requirement, basically, to set a will at when you rate reach eighteen. Set a will. I don't give a fuck. Write your will and update that bitch every two years. Until I, I say set your will and update that bitch every two years till you fought it. From eighteen. Facts. That's what that's what I say personally, because why? I feel like twenty is the age twenty through thirty is the ages of Learning, like fumbling and picking the ball back up and getting back to running. You see what I'm saying? A lot of learning, a lot of mistakes being ha- is happening. You see what I'm saying? At 30 through 40, I figure you have learned the mistakes and you're not falling at the mistakes no more, but you're still getting your, your feet planted in the ground, knowing since at I mean, by just reaching a stage of knowing that you can't be fumbling and falling every time. So you just planting your feet in the ground and trying to get stationary and grow from there. I think at a stage of 30 through 40. So at 40, I figure that you should have all that down packed about that time and start to really live your life and start to, you know, just let yourself flourish. You see what I'm saying? No more falling tripping and learning you should be already growing right there that should be your stage you should be plugged in you should be rooted into the ground and growing from right there you should have found the place to plant your seed and grow from you should have found your home that you say hey man i'm about to be spending all my money and my rest of life staying right here in this house you see what i'm saying you should be finding those things out already and establish them at the age of 40 that's why i say that 
But 20, I mean by 18, you need to start establishing because think about it. I bet more uh, more niggas is dying at the age of 18 through, man, 16 through 30. I bet they dying fast. Way more than niggas 30 through 60. I mean, 30 through 50. I'm going to say 30 through 55. Way more niggas dying in, in that age bracket. So that's why we need to just update our will. Everybody everybody in the rap game right now, y'all know y'all living this risky-ass wildlife. You niggas down bad if you not making wills for your parents and you know you out your living bad. This man wasn't out your living bad. This man was out here getting the money, doing flexing, you know, doing his thing, shining, you hear me? Yeah, big dog shit, you hear me? I ain't, I ain't no trying to act gangster shit, I'm just, yeah, big dog and shit. You niggas out here who wilding out, who killing shit, who getting shit killed, y'all need to write a will, because you know damn well, if you're putting that calm out into this world, man, man, son, whatever you put out in this world, that shit come back, I'm a eyewitness of that. So, whatever you, whatever you niggas put out there, just know it's coming back. So if you know you're putting evil out there, just know that evil coming back to you. And you need to be writing the will so your people could be blessed at the end of the day. So your daughter could get a piece of it. You see what I'm saying? So it won't be fought in court and the court and lawyers and everybody and the judge got to get a piece of your money. Because why? You don't know where your money got to go at. Everybody don't know where your money got to go at. So they got to make decisions. And your people got to fight and fuss and feud and then start hating each other and come up with grudges with each other behind the money. Already write that shit. I don't care if you have a book set with twenty dollars in there, twenty in singles, single ones. Write a will out. Look, ten of these dollars go to this person, five go to this person, three go to this person, two go to this person. That's what you need to be doing. That's just real. Fuck. That's just real. That's what the, that's what you gotta be doing at this age. Like, cause look. More and more, if we look at if we look at news clippings, we're going to see more and more young niggas this age dying, getting killed, going to jail for the rest of their life. More than any race. So why not write the age, I mean, you will at 18. Make that a trend. Hashtag will at 18, man. Not saying that's, that's putting a... A burden on a nigga back to thinking that they're, they, they're they going to be dying at them ages. Just knowing that definitely if you living that life like that, just putting respect on yourself. Just re- putting respect on your people. Don't play. But this man had no idea. I know this man was just living cool. Now. I, just, I just get a couple checkouts um, at the comments. Then I'm going to let you know, guys know what I, how I feel at the end. But uh, let me know in the comments, too, what y'all think about this. Let me know if y'all think, you know, let me know if y'all got another story with somebody else doing the same shit when somebody died and then right away. Let me know what y'all think about me saying the 18, at age 18, and every two years to uh, age 40, they update their will. Let me know what y'all think about that. Nah, moms need to get get it just based on the fact he said mama. Ever ad lib, <laughs> mama. <laughs> he, he ain't shot out pops, you hear me? But that was just an ad lib type shit. That wasn't really like, you know. Offset say he don't want y'all posting this though. Oh, he said that. Why in the hell are y'all posing this then? Did the man really say that? I, you know, you know, Sean kind of give a fuck. He gone with the, he gone with the news. Give it to who raised them. Facts. I mean, like that. Even though split it half, but fuck. If it's going to be a fuss, give it to who raised them. If you ain't raise them, fuck you. Period. If you ain't raise them, fuck you. Give it to who raised him, bro. I like that one. I was raised by my mama, so a nigga never really, really had a dad. Oh, that's a quote. He must say, he must have said that. I was raised by my mama, so a nigga never really had a dad. Dad, you wouldn't be getting nothing. Never heard of him. Yeah, daddy. That's how I live. 
I think this an open, open and shut case for the mother. Damn. <laughs> I like this one too. Over seventy seven percent of black Americans don't have shit to leave in the world. That's why I say even if you had twenty dollars, man, leave your mama something special. Cause guess why? Even if you was the past, God forbid it on anyone, you see what I'm saying? Uh even if you was the past, like and you had like a shirt, you see what I'm saying, that you was always wearing. You can know, I mean, I get this person this shirt so they can know, like, we ain't about to fuss over this shirt that he always wore that I won't remember him by, that I won't sleep in or I won't wear, you see what I'm saying, to remember him. They wouldn't have to fuss over that shirt. That's why I say, that's what, it, it don't matter saying they don't have nothing. We're not talking about money things because in the, in the stage when a person pass, nigga could really, like, the money is a luck, but nigga would rather... Nigga would rather something like special, like a shirt that he always wore. This shirt, like he, this was his favorite shirt. He always wore this shirt. They would nigga would rather that, like because that comes with more memories. Nigga would rather that. You see, what I'm saying that got more sentimental value versus that money. That money ain't got no sentimental value. Once you transfer that money from his account to your account, it's like that money was money. It just it's changed in everything. It ain't the same money that was in his account. It's a whole different money. Nah. You see what I'm saying? I could get this. He might had all hundreds that he had that went into account. I might get all tens out, all twenties out. It's not the same money. That shirt gonna be that same shirt that he wore, that he got pictures in. You see what I'm saying? Shirt that he, you know, he probably still got his smell on that bitch. Like, that's more worth something. Worth something to a nigga who really love you. Because a nigga who don't love you, that money is worth more than your shirt. But a shirt that you used to always wear that niggas know you from, like, that bitch used to always have that shirt on. And if you say that and your family go to laughing, like, that bitch did. Everybody go to laughing. That's a sentimental value. Like, that shirt is sentimental. That's over the money. To me. to For my people. Fuck. Yeah, I mean, so that's what it do. I don't know what you're talking about. Over 77 people don't have shit to leave. They have a lot of shit to leave. Like, they have a lot of shit to leave. Me, nigga, I got a ball head. I, I leave, somebody gonna want my caps. Like, man, that bitch always had them caps on. Bitch, bitch, that always had a cap on his head. That little bitch, that was, huh? You get them good shoes, too, that bitch got. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you know I man. Fuck, stop fighting and just split it. Like I say, split it. Y'all already lost the son. The money is not important at all. Like I just said, some people got sense out there. We could tell. I ain't saying y'all don't have sense. The ones I seen in red that wasn't saying shit, but it's looking crazy for y'all. I don't know what y'all be on. Let me wrap this part up, this section up. Just my thought on it. Y'all get in the comments and comment about it. Like and subscribe. Hey, I feel like whoever raised them should really get it. And that it should go to that person first. And then the, the other person, you know, the daddy, the mama, if she won't be a real boss bitch, you know, a real respectable bitch and be like, even though you ain't helped me raise them, pussy, your son earned this and it's from your son. To you, huh? I'm gonna give you a piece of the pie. Fuck. So if she was gonna get twenty six million. Get that nigga about five million, huh, nigga? Huh? This for you to do whatever you want to do. Live up five million, nigga. If you can't live the rest of your life off of five million, and stay straight and live it up off of five million for the rest of your life, nigga, you ain't even need the five million. Yeah, I'm not. Give him a little cut. Don't leave him high and dry, you hear me? Because that was his son too, you know. He the reason why he here without his, without that that, that semen that came out of his sexual, you hear me? He, he, none of y'all be getting the money. You see what I'm saying? So y'all both need each other for this situation for him to be alive. So give him a little piece. If you ain't gonna split it, at least give him a little piece. You see what I'm saying? You ain't gotta give him much. Give him something though, something nice to where he could feel like. All right, I ain't got everything, but I got something to be straight with. I'm good. You see what I'm saying? Fuck. 
Mama gonna take care of everybody for real, you know. So let's just keep it G. Mom gonna keep it G. That's who probably raised him. She gonna take care. Of, she gonna keep it G. You see what I'm saying? So give her whoever raised him, give him the top piece, and then they split it on down from there. Give everybody a little piece, cause I, I feel like everybody. If somebody got something, they don't just leave it well. I'm pretty sure if that person could speak right now out of his grave and be like, "Who do I want with that money?" They would speak like, "Man, y'all split that shit up, bro. Y'all don't act bad with each other. Split that up." So to always think about that. What would what would you think your ch- your child would say? Y'all split that shit up. Split it up. Don't fight over it. I made it so y'all could be straight. Y'all ain't gotta fight no more. Y'all could chill, live life, do whatever you want with life. Everybody could chill around you. I left enough money for everybody around you to you to take care of everybody, everybody to be cool. That's what I say about that, dog. Y'all don't fight over that, bro. Money is the root to all evil. But it helps everything to make everything better, though. It's like a it's a band-aid to a wound, though. So you got to use it in that, man. It's take it with a grain of salt. Don't fight over it, bro. Y'all, I think y'all should get back together and just love each other, bro. Like, and just mourn y'all son together and just love each other that y'all are rich and y'all can lay back. But it's at the expense of your child. But fuck, it, 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 that's what it is now. Y'all get in the comment box, you know. Let me know how y'all feel about it, what y'all take is on it. Let me know something. Like and subscribe to this video. Get it out there. Share it. Because I'm just speaking the real. I'm just, you know, trying to talk to y'all, you know, the few people who are watching, you know, this for you.